That's it, man. I got it. We found our two resistors. <laughs> Took a while. And I had to use that trick, but now we can find them. If after having one, you can like visually detect the next one by matching if you're colorblind. It's just having none that, you know, that kills you. Gives you no baseline to compare with. Okay, so this is the method I found to be easiest to remove these resistors. Basically, I want to take my... my surgical grippers and pinch it on there until it snaps shut and then I want to come to the other side Got it! Woohoo! We got two resistors! Man, I can just see them all now. Now that I know what to look for, I can spot more than that. Okay. So. Now I'm just gonna isolate these two resistors on this board. And I'm going to measure their resistances. Just to verify that they are, in fact, the same. Okay. Two point one seven four, two point one seven two, whoop, Two point one six eight. They're they're like point oh oh two off, but that even changes depending on where I slide the the pins along the shaft of the base of it. So these are two point two k resistors. Um, we can do our servo mod now. Okay. All right. I'm gonna wanna remove the existing three potentiometer wires
Actually, I can probably just hold on to it like this with my fingers. Okay, it's just the copper wire sticking up now. I guess that's not so bad. Hmm. Um, can you guys even see that? Here's what we got so far. You can see the resistor I put in on the left and you can see the center wire um, which I twisted onto it. I don't know if you can see that though. You can see on the bottom, I could just focus. There we go. You can see the center wire I just twisted to the top. You can see on the bottom I just had it go way through the through hole. The center wires wrapped onto it, and then this wire now. I have to connect to another resistor, so I'm going to pull this wire out, slide the other resistor on, and then connect everything up here. So one wire is going to come down to a resi resistor, one's going to come down just a wire, one's going to come down a resistor. And you can see a photo of how it's supposed to look. right here you got resistor plain wire resistor I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a quick question to Google does resistor direction matter I hate to think I put it in the wrong way Nope, no wrong way. Resistors aren't polarity wise, so you can put it anyway. Yes! Okay, sweet. Alright. So now, we got to pull out this other wire. Got it. And then we have to Ow. We have to shove in this resistor. I'm just going to line it with the top hole and then apply heat to the bottom of the hole. What's up, Skittle Madness?
Got him. Uh, I'm going to shove it the rest of the way through. So to do that, I'm just going to apply heat to the bottom of it again. And just press on it until it slides through. There we go. That's going to harden. And now we got two resistors coming up. And now we just got to join them all in the center. Okay, I, I pull it all the way out by accident. I'm going to reinsert. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, you get to see a better view of me reinserting now. This is what that looks like. Hopefully, the camera's on good. We got the resistor in our surgical um, pliers, and I'm holding the pliers like this so that I have this pincher free and the resistor is right here and then so I can actually hold on to the board with the same hand and have the other hand free to, to work the solder so I'm just going to line it up in the hole like that and then Nope, from the bottom till it slides through. Okay. There we go. I wanted to leave enough of it over that I could bend the resistor down to be more flush with the board. So I'm going to have it sticking out this side. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Hopefully I won't pull it completely out like I did the other one. Alright. Okay, I did a better job on that one. So I didn't pull it completely out. So now we've got our two resistors. Two resistors right there. One, two. And I got them bent down. I need to join them to the center wire. Alright, I just made a crisscross at the top, and you can see um, you got the center wire wrapped around the crisscross, and then you got the two crisscrossing resistors. And I'm just going to put a little bit of solder in this little wire at the top to hold it all in place. Is the arm going to be moved by like a brain AI? Um, 
Yeah, it's going to be a full humanoid robot. So it's going to have a whole body with the artificial mind. No, the, I only did the, the mod. So I didn't I didn't touch any of this SMD. I only did these two resistors on the end that are sticking out. And that's it guys. That's that was the whole mod. That's the continuous rotation mod for a DC servo motor. That was it. It didn't even take long. Bam. That's the bottom. And that's it. So now it will have continuous rotation. That was the trickiest part of the whole servo mod. Well, actually it's not as tricky as this custom extension shaft I put on the end of it. That was hard.